Tesla has always been a forerunner in the EV industry, paving the way for new inventions that are geared towards providing vehicles that are environmentally friendly and sustainable. The multi-billion dollar company has yet again expanded its production capacity by adding a new and bigger gigafactory in Texas to its chain of factories in the US. This Gigafactory was launched by Musk earlier in April and is presently the biggest factory by size in the country, still working at less than maximum capacity. Tesla's new Gigafactory is also expected to be the highest volume auto plant in the US when it's fully ramped up. But what exactly goes on in this $10 billion gigantic factory that's now Tesla's headquarters and what model of cars would the EV maker be churning out from its newest and grandest factory? Stick around as we detail all of these and more in this video. Tesla is one of the most prominent EV makers in the world. After having become the largest producer of electric vehicles globally, last year the company built and shipped over 930,000 electric vehicles, which was a significant improvement to its earlier target for the year. While Tesla was able to double its vehicle production in 2021, the company has now set a bigger target of 1.5 billion vehicles for 2022. To meet its new target, Tesla has established three new production plants across America, Europe, and Asia. These massive production plants were termed Gigafactories by Musk, with Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Giga Texas now all operational and set to help Tesla achieve this monstrous production target. Giga Texas is the grandest of the trio. It spans an estimated 2,500 acres of land along the Colorado River and has over 10 million square feet of factory floor. Giga Texas is expected to produce over 20,000 direct jobs when it finally begins to operate at full capacity. The construction of the Giga Factory in Texas started back in 2020 and was preceded by a bidding contest by every American state, each of which wanted to earn the hosting right to house the biggest auto factory in the country. After Texas won the bid, the factory was named accordingly as Giga Texas. Tesla's electric Cybertrucks were the first batch of vehicles that were churned out from this giant factory. Even while construction was ongoing, Tesla had already racked up over a million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, so it was only rational that the Cybertrucks were the first models to go into production at Giga Texas. The Giga Texas is so humongous that when turned on its side, it takes over the Burj Khalifa as the tallest building in the world. With the California plant fast running out of room to accommodate further expansion, Musk opted to name Giga Texas as Tesla's new headquarters. Aside from the Cybertruck, Tesla's semi-truck, and the popular Model Y would also make up the first batch of EVs to be manufactured at Giga Texas. The Gigafactory would have a unit dedicated to the manufacturing of the Optimus robot that Musk has always spoken at length about. Giga Texas would also host a massive battery production unit, where Tesla's EV batteries will be mass-produced starting with that of the Model Y. In addition to its massive battery production unit, Giga Texas also hosts a lot of space that holds the factory's enormous stamping, casting, painting, and general assembling units. Musk has stated that the production of electric vehicles in the Giga factory will be more effective and easier because everything is available and all under one roof. Raw materials would be delivered at one end, and you can have the finished cars rolled off across the assembly line at another end. Giga Texas, according to Musk, would greatly help Tesla reduce the complexities involved in manufacturing EVs, especially as the company is now gearing towards producing its vehicle's entire body from just a few inputs while leveraging technology. Tesla has installed massive Giga Press technologies at Giga Texas that would allow it to manufacture the chassis for its vehicles from only three pieces of inputs as against the more than 70 pieces that the process previously used. These these gigantic and technologically advanced machines can create the bodywork of any of Tesla's vehicles in seconds. For the bulk of the last decade, Tesla had been investing in steel alloy technology, which allows for a larger casting of vehicle parts, which simplifies the manufacturing process. 
At the moment, 54 Giga Presses have been installed at Giga Texas, all having incredible clamping force and being some of the biggest casting machines in the world by far. These powerful machines were first acquired in 2020 from the Italian engineering company IDRA and were installed at Tesla's Fremont factory for initial operations. Being the first of its kind, the machine had a clamping force of over 55,000 to 61,000 kilo newtons. Currently, the Giga Factory uses these Giga Presses in producing steel bodies for the Model Y. Tesla has also started making the Model Y in different colors including blue, black, red, and white. The initial Model Ys manufactured at Giga Texas featured 4680 battery cells. However, Tesla has now revealed that it plans to use 2170 battery cells in the production lines at Giga Texas for batches to be manufactured in the last quarter of this year. The first Model Ys manufactured at Giga Texas were displayed during the company's Cyber Rodeo opening party that had only Tesla staff in attendance. Aside from their very powerful batteries, they also featured a single-piece front body casting, as well as a structural battery pack. Musk is now set on making Giga Texas the world's largest battery cell manufacturing facility. The CEO believes that the facility can support a production capacity of up to 100 gigatons per year and can expand up to 200 to 250 gigatons by the end of 2023. A single facility with a yearly output of 100 gigawatt hours could produce enough batteries to power more than 1.3 million Model Y vehicles. Giga Texas started manufacturing pre-production samples of the Model Y back in August. Pre-production phases are commonly used by automakers to assess the accuracy and effectiveness of the equipment on site towards ensuring that it is ready for large-scale production. At the time, the Gigas factory's massive structure was also fast nearing completion. Only the central part of the massive structure, which runs down from the factory center to the south section, remains under construction. Thousands of Model Y castings were sighted at Giga Texas soon after it started operations, raising suspicions as to whether all of the castings were entirely manufactured at the Giga factory or if some portion of the castings were delivered there. It had turned out that all castings were manufactured at the Giga factory as Tesla was testing casting equipment and method. Tesla also commenced with other pre-production drills for the Model Y, even while no specific information has been released as to when exactly the facility will be fully operational. It appears that Giga Texas would be Tesla's new creative and innovative hub as the company now appears to be developing an infinite number of scalable renewable energy components and storage solutions. These technologies are expected to be available commercially next year. Tesla also has a unit at Giga Texas that has been installed with machines for the mass production of solar panels, solar roofs, power wall, home batteries, and power pack systems. These technologies are considered to be in line with Tesla's drive to support the world's transition into the use of sustainable energy. These solutions by Tesla are also being manufactured at the Giga factory, employing the safest and most renewable energy sources. Musk has also recently announced that Tesla's 10,000 Model Y SUV was recently manufactured in Giga Texas. This could be good news for vehicle lovers who are hoping to buy the Cybertruck next year. Although Tesla had initially announced that it would be kickstarting the production of its Cybertruck at the Texas Giga factory this year, it would soon be forced to delay production till 2023 due to supply chain issues associated with the next generation 4680 battery cells. The successful invention of these batteries, according to Musk, would lead to the price of electric vehicles dropping remarkably. Tesla is now edging closer to being being able to manufacture these super powerful batteries at scale. The Model Y line will be the highest capacity line at Giga Texas and the world at large. According to Musk, the plan will produce at least 500,000 vehicles annually by next year. Starting with the Model Y hatchbacks, the hard edge cyber truck pickup, as well as a new version of the Roadster sports car and Tesla Semi. When Giga Texas reaches full production capacity, it is expected that in addition to its three other plants, Tesla would have combined capacity to build over 2 million vehicles annually within the next few years. This would be more than double what the company produced in 2021. Tesla's newest Giga factories are now widely considered 
a major step for a car maker that's still less than two decades old. These facilities are highly expected to help the EV maker maintain its current position as the world's top electric vehicle manufacturer for the foreseeable future. Strangely, drilling for water has been a major concern for both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. As it stands, Tesla still has a peculiar problem of demand far outstripping supply. With this issue already translating into a six months delay for the Model Ys and some Model 3s in different parts of the world, Tesla's new gigafactories are now expected to help the EV maker eliminate its production bottlenecks globally. Giga Texas is designed for maximum efficiency and will make vehicles using mainly three major components. First would be the rear portion that would be made from a single casting, then a battery pack that's designed as the vehicle's structural undercarriage, and a front section also made from a single metal casting. The results are that Tesla's EVs would be lighter, safer, and cost much less. Giga Texas is expected to drive a revolution in car manufacturing globally. For more interesting videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button.